If you startle it or get close to the net, they start to spin. I think this is a tactic to prevent being eaten, but I'm unsure how successful this is. Today's mission, spider invading fly cage. The black soldier fly rearing cage got infested with spiders, which have spun the nets throughout the cage, trapping the newly emerged flies. Find a way to remove the spiders while saving the flies. Tip, cleaning the cage is necessary too. Okay, let's see. Last time Conrad finalized the harvesting and pupate box. It seems right on time, since there is one fly in the fly cage. To protect it from the spiders, the nets and the spiders need to be removed. There are probably quite a few different approaches to do so, but uh, cash, <laughs> cash is probably not one of them. <laughs> um, I think a vacuum will be the easiest choice, even though this will sacrifice the spiders. Let's go! I only saw one fly just now, but there are some flies caught in the nets, so I am wondering if the flies are from this season too. I need the flies to mate and restart the larvae population, so the spiders need to go. I have to admit the spiders are quite genius, creating a net inside the rearing cage. It is designed for the flies to spend their lives there, and the cage is completely filled with the nets of the spiders. What do you seem to understand? I'm not locked in here with you. <laughs> You're locked in here with me! <laughs> exactly. The spiders are very big, but I don't know which kind they are. There are definitely some offspring, so more than one spider. If you know which kind of spider this is, let me know in the comments. I will catch the only living black soldier fly with the glass and put it back in the cage once it's cleaned. It is quite easy to catch black soldier flies, they are not very active and it's even easier today since it's only one fly I need to catch. So there won't be an issue with others escaping. I just open the cage door and put the jars opening right on top of the fly. I then screw the lid on tight. The lid is probably airtight, but the fly will stay inside of the jar only for a couple of minutes until it's released. We can now start the cleaning with the vacuum. It's a bit tricky vacuuming while standing on a ladder and I would not recommend doing so if the area you want to vacuum is higher from the ground than in this scenario. The vacuum is quite heavy as well, so for a longer and also a higher up session, find something to rest the vacuum on. I use this opportunity to throw out the dead plants which grew in the vertical plant channel inside of the rearing cage. For now, the water is currently switched off in the cage. I will put fresh plants onto the cage at some point, since the black soldier flies like plants or greenery to call for a female. The dead plants will end up in the warm drawer later, but I will put them in the shower beds and grow it for now. The trays you can see on the right hand side in the cage are filled with pupae and accessible from the side of the fly cage. This is still in the experimental stage and I don't know the success rate yet. There are definitely some empty husks in the trays, but also some pupae still. I was wondering how long a pupate state can last, like if it's worth keeping the not hatched pupae around because they are still able to hatch. The lowest tray, for example, holds some pupae from the first generation I raised here in the space. Do you think they will hatch still? It might be good for the gene pool to keep them. Because if they hatch and mate, the DNA pool would be slightly more diverse. On that note, I'm wondering how the genes are distributed per egg laying female black soldier fly. Let's say a female lays on average 400 to 900 eggs per cluster. Does each batch of eggs have the same DNA or is it different individuals per egg? I expect different DNA per egg, but I need to look this up for insects. With the spiders now removed from the cage, the flies have a good chance to find a mate and reproduce. And therefore start the black soldier fly larvae colony in the composter for this season. I took some videos from the spiders in the space, which fit quite nicely in this mission theme. There was one spider which spun a net around another spider, which I found quite interesting. It's a kind of cannibalism I did not expect to see, even though some spiders consume their partner after mating. It seems the spiders are of the same kind, but I'm unsure about their sex. 
Another interesting shot is this one. It's the same kind of spider again. If you startle it or get close to the net, they start to spin. I think this is a tactic to prevent being eaten, but I'm unsure how successful this is. It looks funny though. This is not the first spider I found behaving like this in the space. And in these slow motion shots, you can clearly see their joints in the legs working creating the movement on purpose. After a short while, the spider stops the movement and comes to a standstill like nothing has happened. With the fly cage cleaned, it is safe to put the cord black soldier fly from earlier back into the cage. I will just unscrew the lid of the glass jar and open the door to the cage. There you go. For now, it's only one black soldier fly in the cage. But if one emerged, I expect more to hatch very soon. I will need to watch out for spiders in the future and clean them out of the cage to protect the flies. This concludes today's mission. Subscribe for the next episode and leave some feedback in the comments below. You could also check out this video. Or if it's your birthday, maybe this one. Piedali.